Hi, it's Yui. Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Inspired Japanese Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you my favorite tofu recipes. We'll be using similar ingredients for the recipes, but they will be totally different delicious dishes. First recipe is tofu mochi. You can quickly and easily make the mochi texture dish with tofu and potato starch. So I often have it for breakfast or snack. Put the soft tofu in a bowl and smash it with a fork or whisk. Then add a potato starch there and mix them well. That's the mochi base. Next, we we'll cook the mochi in a pan. Add a cooking oil in a pan and spoon the mochi mixture out and cook it over medium heat. While cooking the mochi, let's make the sauce. In a small bowl, add a sugar, soy sauce, and water, then mix them well. Super easy, but tastes great with the mochi. Now we go back to the mochi. When we get a little chart like this, flip them to the other side. Try to make it flat like a little pancakes. Same for the other side. Grill them until they get a little chart on the surface. Once both sides are nicely chart, add the sauce. By flipping the mochi, coat all the sides of the mochi with the sauce. Also cook it for a minute or two until the sauce gets a little bit thicker. Then it's done! Serve them with small pieces of nori seaweed. The mochi is quite hot right after cooking, so be careful when you wrap it with the nori. The mochi is very tasty with a sweet soy sauce sauce and healthy since we use tofu and gluten-free potato starch. Great comforting snack! Please try it! Next one is tofu steaks. First, microwave the medium tofu for 4 minutes with a paper towel to remove the excess water inside of the tofu. Or, you can place a flat and heavy thing on the tofu for 30 minutes to 1 hour. Then cut the tofu into small pieces. This time, I cut this block of tofu into 6 pieces. Dry the tofu with a paper towel or kitchen cloth. Coat the tofu pieces with potato starch gently and evenly. This potato starch will make the tofu crispy. If the tofu is still wet, the potato starch won't stick to the tofu very well, so make sure to dry the tofu before coating. Now time to grill the tofu steaks. In a pan, add a cooking oil or sesame oil over medium heat. When it's hot, add the tofu pieces one by one and cook until golden brown about 3 to 5 minutes. Since I want to make the tofu pieces crispy, I used about 2 tablespoons of oil. While cooking the tofu, let's make the sauce for the steak and make the garnish. In the bowl, add the sugar, soy sauce, mirin, and the sake together and mix them well. It's similar to the sauce for the tofu mochi, but with the mirin and the sake, it has more depth and flavor. Then for the garnish, chop some green onion. The sauce is thick, so the green onion adds some freshness. Going back to the tofu, cook both sides of the tofu pieces until golden brown. And wipe off the excess oil with paper towel. Then add the sauce and cook it for a while until the sauce gets a little bit thicker. Then it's done! 
Place the crispy tofu pieces on a plate. Sprinkle the chopped green onion. Sorry for using green onion so often with my recipes, but I just love it so much. Anyway, the dish looks quite simple, but it's very flavorful and the soft and crispy mixed texture is amazing. Eat it as it is first, but having it with some mayo with red chili pepper is also so tasty too. I use almost the same ingredients but with different types of tofu. They made two totally different tofu dishes. I'll be posting more tofu recipes and recipes with Japanese ingredients, so please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and see you again. Mata ne!